Hello there, my name is Srinath and the topic for today's talk is Finding Performance Bottleneck from Power Center Session Law. The agenda for the talk is as follows. First, we will look into the common reasons that would cause uh, performance issues in a power center session and uh, we will follow up with uh, one of the common messages that you would see in the session log when there is uh, performance issues and uh, there is slowness in a session run when compared to a normal run which is um, WRT underscore 8165 timeout base commit point and we would look into uh, we'll follow that up by looking into the thread statistics that gets printed in the session log uh, which would provide you some deep insights as, uh, as to which threads took longer time and uh, uh, and, uh, and also point uh, specifically towards uh, uh, the, the, the area where the bottleneck could lie and uh, we'll follow that up with uh, example from uh, a specific case which would uh, help us in finding out a bottleneck and uh, rectifying it so that the performance is back to the normal. So um, first let's look into the common reasons why there is a deterioration in session performance. Um, the reasons could uh, either be CPU, memory or network and uh, the uh, the things that I have listed out here uh, they are not exhaustive but they provide an example as to um, how a specific uh, uh, a, sp a specific uh, operation uh, say for example a uh, string operations would take out consume a lot of CPU and this could have a, a negative impact on your uh, session performance and when it comes to memory or disk access uh, so uh, there are uh, many transformations which make use of uh, file system for example lookup cache it gets created uh, in the file system and uh, mostly there are third party file systems which are used and uh, when um, there are any issues in reading and writing into those file systems then you could have a performance uh, issues in power center and also uh, uh, when when uh, there is not enough memory enough RAM available, uh, more often um, the the data is written back into the disk. It's paged into the disk, and uh, this could have also a negative impact on the session performance. And uh, one other instance could be where there is not enough buffer blocks available for uh, storing the source data and also uh, doing transformations on them and uh, that, that's another reason where uh, we could have we could run into performance issues so uh, the the network also plays a significant role and uh, for example if we have uh, database and power centers uh, on different physical locations at, uh, and they are connected over van and connected by van then um, there could there's a possibility that uh, that might be much lower than when compared to Say uh, database server and power center in in the in, a, in the same box in a same box or in a same local in, in the same LAN. So one of the common messages that gets printed in the session log whenever there is an issue in session performance is WRT underscore eight one six five timeout based commit point. So uh, this message uh, basically signifies that uh, there aren't enough rows at the writer for the writer to insert and issue a commit. So uh, let's say uh, a target based commit point of 10,000 rows has been set set up in the session and uh, session has about 3,000 rows in memory and uh, it needs more 7,000 rows more in order to insert them and issue a commit. But since it's not available, um, the, t the writer prints out this message at a specific specified interval of time and uh, this message could be seen in the session log so whenever this message is seen in the session log what it means is that uh, there is some bottleneck either in the source or target or in one or any other transformations and uh, we need to identify those bottlenecks and remove them in order to uh, make sure the performance is back to the normal So this slide shows uh, the thread statistics for a specific session run and um, what we could see is that um, there is a single pipeline a reader and a bunch of transformations and followed by a writer and uh, 
uh, we could see the time taken by each of the threads it, it's a breakdown of time taken by taken by each of the threads so for example uh, the the total run time for the reader is 2426 2, seconds and uh, it's been idle for 2557 seconds so what this particular uh, statistics would provide is it provides uh, a wealth of information in order to identify um, which thread has taken how much amount of time and uh, by looking by calculating uh, the specific amounts of time each of the thread and each of the transformations uh, in addition has taken we would be able to narrow down which specific transformation has taken a longer time to uh, to complete and uh, and say if a specific transformation has taken a longer time to complete we would be able to specifically focus on that particular transformation and check um, all the Right, all the uh, the extraneous things that could be affecting it. Say, for example, uh, it, it could be as me as I mentioned earlier, the CPU, or it could be uh, the non-availability of memory, or it could be a file system issue. So, this uh, thread statistics would help us narrow down specifically into uh, the transformation that is causing the bottleneck. So now we will look into uh, how exactly we would be able to detect uh, a specific bottleneck um, um, by looking into the thread statistics. And uh, the table that you see here is uh, um, is obtained by uh, uh, calculating the time taken for each of the thread to run and uh, from the session log. And uh, the one that on the left is the one that uh, stake uh, that runs at a uh, that's a regular run and uh, the one on the right is the one that takes about uh, almost twice the time that's uh, of that of a regular run and uh, based on these two we would be able to identify where exactly the bottleneck lies so from the table we would be able to see that the lookup uh, 5 has taken about more than twice that of uh, twice the time as in a regular run and uh, lookup 6 has taken nearly more than four times uh, the time that uh, it took in the regular run and also uh, there is a significant uh, difference in time uh, in the time of run for lookup 11 so uh, what we found out was all these three lookups were specifically uh, querying a specific table in a database um, with which uh, which had a network issue with the pass center server and uh, this particular table um, really uh, clearly identifies where exactly the particular error could be and it points to the direction um, of uh, the, the bottleneck that's preventing uh, I mean that's creating a poor performance in the session run so uh, the summary of this talk is that uh, the threat statistics provide a key insight in identifying the bottleneck uh, which is degrading the session performance and by looking into the session log and uh, making a table as shown in the stock we would be able to identify where exactly the the bottleneck could be so we would love, love to hear from you you could uh, email us at uh, supportvideos at informatica.com or you could tweet us at um, infasupport Thank you and have a wonderful day.